Second match, Feng Hua vs. Lu Chang. Another five matches passed like this. They were all not matches of the giants, stirring up some frustration in the spectators, who were waiting in anticipation. Just when this frustration reached its peak, the referee on the wind cloud platform finally called out the names of giants. Twelfth match, Eastern Sea's Little Dragon King, Xuanyuan Zantian, vs. Noble Clan Cyan Li Tianhua. The crowd immediately cheered, their voices surging out. Finally, it is a match of the giants. The eight giants all have only eight matches left each. They all have the same number of points. From here on, every match will affect their final ranking, so they will definitely do their best. That's right. At this moment, they can no longer hide their strength. Otherwise, if they lose, they will lose their chance at competing for the first rank. Xuanyuan Zantian vs. Li Tianhua. Their strengths are both unfathomable. I wonder who will win. One is a coiling dragon of the continent, the other is the flood dragon of the eastern sea. This is a fight between two dragons. Ha ha. Everyone's gazes were focused on the wind cloud platform. All sorts of discussions sprang up without end. When the voices ran together, the venue became very noisy. Within the crowd, Xiao Chen looked over as well. These two people were worthy of their titles as giants. This was especially so for Xuanyuan Zantian. Xiao Chen felt that there was still more to Xuanyuan Zantian's strength than what he had shown. Xuanyuan Zantian was likely to be one of his toughest competitors. As the giants mounted the wind cloud platform, the noisy chatter quickly came to an end. Everyone simply stared at the wind cloud platform. Xuanyuan Zantian and Li Tianwei each took a corner of the wind cloud platform and looked at each other. Sharp warriors clashed intensely in the air before the fight had even begun. A strong wind blew, howling incessantly. Li Tianwei smiled gently. I heard that there is an absolute genius in the eastern boundless sea known as the eastern sea's little dragon king. Now that I have seen you, you truly live up to your reputation. Xuanyuan Zantian held his heavenly war halberd tightly, remaining silent. He knew that the other party still had something to say. Indeed, Li Tian was stopped smiling at this point. Then, his gaze turned sharp as he said, However, unfortunately for you, this is the Tianwu continent, not the boundless sea. There is no water here. Let's see what kind of splashes you can make here. Xuanyuan Zantian's expression did not change. He calmly replied, If that is really what you think, then you will only suffer a miserable defeat. While the two fought with their words, their auras clashed continuously. This gave rise to a very volatile atmosphere, as if it would explode at any moment. Boom. After a long period of silence, when the atmosphere had reached an extremely oppressive level, the two suddenly moved at the same time. Two blurry figures suddenly crossed each other in the air. They were lightning fast. The crowd even indistinctly saw two dragon-shaped figures fighting in the air, biting each other. That was the coiling dragon, known as the true dragon of the earth, formed by Li Tian with spear and the flood dragon, known as a tyrant of the sea and the king of the deep abyss, formed by the heavenly war halberd. They intensely fought against each other in the air. Bang! 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 When the spear and halberd clashed, a thunderous roar resounded above the wind cloud platform. The flood dragon moved up and down in the air, like it was swimming in the sea, splashes could even be heard. The coiling dragon stood steadily on the platform, like an unyielding mountain. When it moved, it was like lava erupting out of a volcano, destroying the world. The two of them used the special characteristics of the coiling dragon and the flood dragon, fusing them into their own martial technique, bringing them out in great detail. Such states made everyone feel like they were the ones in battle, making them gasp in amazement. It felt like there really were two false dragons fighting on the platform. TL note, it has been mentioned before but here is a reminder. The coiling dragons and flood dragons are not true dragons, they are creatures that are close to being dragons and contain dragon bloodlines as well. However, they are not pure dragons. However, given that they were on land now, the coiling dragon should have the home ground advantage. After a hundred moves, Xuanyuan Zantian's overwhelming attacks crumbled. On the other hand, Li Tianwu's attacks caused Xuanyuan Zantian to suffer some disadvantages. The situation for Xuanyuan Zantian did not look good. Ha ha, what eastern sea's little dragon king. You are merely so so. Take my twin dragons playing with pearls. Now that Li Tianwu had the upper hand, he laughed loudly. His spear wavered and turned into two hard to distinguish spear images. Then, each spear image materialized a ferocious coiling dragon. When the spear images merged together, the two coiling dragons roared ferociously and rushed forward. Twin dragons playing with pearls, from the ferocious appearance of the coiling dragons, it was clear that Xuanyuan Zantian was the object being played with. 
Xuan Yuan Zantian smiled gently and dismissed the dragon image around his halberd. He said, just two false dragons and you treat yourself as a true dragon. Even if you really are a true dragon, you will have to coil yourself up and sit there obediently. Bang! Xuan Yuan Zantian jabbed the wind cloud platform heavily with the tip of the heavenly war halberd. A crack immediately appeared on the flat stage and countless strands of dragon chi emerged as dragon roars resounded. A vast blue sea appeared behind Xuanyuan Zantian, extending to the horizon. As he stood on the sea, he exuded a state of kingship from his body. Waves surged and 18 pillars of water shot into the air. The state of kingship rushed into the sky. The king of the sea. Unexpectedly, he comprehended the state of kingship as well. When Li Tianwa saw this scene, he could not help a flash of panic in his eyes. Ha ha ha, go lie down for me. Xuanyuan Zantian laughed nastily and thrust his hands forward. The two coiling dragons, which were prepared to toy with him, were instantly strangled on the vast sea, crying out miserably as they choked. Just two worms and you dare to flaunt your might before me. Die. Xuanyuan Zantian shouted ferociously as he frowned heavily. Rage appeared on his face as he applied more pressure on the dragon's necks. There were cracking sounds and an indistinct scarlet light poured out. The two coiling dragons made of essence had their necks snapped by Xuanyuan Zantian. Holding a dragon head in each hand, Xuanyuan Zantian casually tossed them aside. Li Tianwa's twin dragons playing with pearls was destroyed just like that. Li Tianwa's face sank and he clenched his teeth as he said, Good. 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 How dare you humiliate me like this. Xuanyuan Zantian, even if you are the king of the Eastern Sea, now that you've come to the Tianwu continent, I, Li Tianwa, will beat you up like the worm you are. As Li Tian was shouted loudly, he applied force with his diaphragm and a strange tone came from his throat. A heavy sound wave emanated from his mouth and formed a storm-like ripple. Unexpectedly, he used his physical body to give off the cry of a coiling dragon. The wind cloud platform trembled without end. In the spectator stands, the several hundred thousand cultivators all felt their scalps go numb. That sound wave seemed to have drilled into their minds, driving home a determined rage. Li Tianwa looked like he was a coiling dragon roaring ferociously. With every step he took, cracks appeared on the platform. Dragon Qi rose into the air but the dragon roars that came from the dragon Qi were suppressed by his roars. Rage of the coiling dragon, heaven falls and earth rends. Li Tianwa pointed his spear at the sky as he stepped out. A spear light flickered and shone everywhere. The powerful coiling dragon that manifested seemed like it wanted to shake the sky and shatter the earth, destroying Xuanyuan Zantian, the ruler of the sea. Xuanyuan Zantian's lips curled up. He revealed a mocking expression as he snorted coldly. Idiot, you are just an insignificant, ordinary dragon and yet you dare to fight with me. He pulled out the heavenly war halberd from the wind cloud platform with his right hand. With a loud sound, the boundless state of kingship poured out from his chest. It moved up his throat and came out in the form of a golden sound wave. Bang, 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 bang. The golden sound wave contained the rage of a king. It clashed with the rage of the coiling dragon that Li Tianwa issued. Crunching reverberated continuously as Li Tianwa's sound waves shattered. A shock wave spread out in the air, forming chaotic ripples that made the space look blurry. The two giants both roared, creating this mysterious phenomenon. The cultivators in the spectator stands were full of praise when they saw this. Rage of the king, splattering the mountains and rivers with blood. As Xuanyuan Zantian held the heavenly war halberd, his face filled with rage. Once again, he went up and clashed with Li Tianwa. With the support from the state of kingship, their first clash forced his opponent back a hundred meters. After pushing Li Tianwa back with one move, Xuanyuan Zantian laughed. He quickly rushed forward. With every step he took, waves splashed, materializing the momentum of a boundless sea. It's time for your defeat. Waves surged, soaring high in the air. The vast state of kingship accompanied every move of Xuanyuan Zantian, forcing Li Tianwa to retreat continuously. How hateful! Blood trickled out of the corner of Li Tianwa's lips. He revealed an unresigned look in his eyes. He was a true dragon, unrivaled on the continent. Clearly, he should have been able to easily gain victory over Xuanyuan Zantian. However, Xuanyuan Zantian had actually managed to comprehend his own state of kingship from his unending state of water. He turned into the king of the four seas, overthrowing Li Tianwa's advantage. In the final eight rounds, if one lost just one match, they would lose their qualification to compete for the first rank. Li Tianwa roared loudly, I will not accept this. Nine dragons swallowing heaven. Nine ancient majestic coiling dragons appeared together with Li Tianwa's spear light. 
They bared fangs and claws as they roared wildly. Ha 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 ha, this is very funny. You are just an ordinary dragon and you dare to be arrogant enough to say that you will swallow heaven. Li Tianhua, you are not qualified. I am the king of the four seas, the son of heaven. I will represent heaven today to punish you. TL Note In ancient China, the emperor is called the son of heaven. Some believed it was a literal descendant of the Chinese gods. However, others believed that it meant that the emperors had received the mandate of heaven. Xuanyuan Zantian revealed a look of despisal as he laughed. Suddenly, the vast sea behind him surged. Nine dragon figures appeared around the heavenly war halberd as well. However, the dragon figures entered the halberd. A vast heavenly might turned into the state of kingship. The long halberd shone with bright golden light, each strand of which was made from the pure state of kingship. This move was even stronger than Yu Chengxi's morning sun fist. Xuanyuan Zantian thrust his right hand forward, holding the bottom end of the heavenly war halberd with one hand. Then, he swept it across and the nine ancient coiling dragons shattered. He took another step forward, moving towards a gap in Li Tianwa's defenses. After switching the heavenly war halberd to his left hand, he flicked it forward and Li Tianwa's body shot backwards like a sandbag. Bang, bang, bang. Xuanyuan Zantian's motion looked like a gentle flick but the power contained in it was astonishing. Blood spurted out of Li Tianwa's mouth and his clothes tattered, eventually, they just turned into dust. The crowd was dumbfounded as they stared at Xuanyuan Zantian. A vague urge to worship him stirred in their hearts. This state of kingship was no weaker than Sima Lingxuan's. Victory goes to Xuanyuan Zantian. You gained another two points. The referee's deep and steady voice rang out, bringing everyone to their senses. They saw that Li Tian was 23 meter long golden dragon grew much dimmer. It also shrank by 3 meters, becoming something second rate. Now that Xuanyuan Zantian had defeated a strong person like Li Tianwa, his golden dragon glittered and grew to 27 meters long, exactly the same as Bai Qi's. This is the strength of a true giant. Unfortunately for Li Tianwa, in the end, a coiling dragon that is unrivaled on land is not a true dragon. Now, there is one more person who can compete with Sima Lingxuan for the peak. Out of the eight giants, only seven are left. In this round, we will probably see a few more giants fall. As long as they lose one match, they could lose their qualification to fight for the first rank. After a few more rounds, the number of people who can make it to the top will decrease. Xuanyuan Zantian strode forward with his head held high, ignoring Li Tianwa, who was lying on the stage with an unresigned and furious expression. Next match, Xiao Chen vs Wang Quan. On the wind cloud platform, the referee called out the names of the next two participants for the next match. The cultivators who were still discussing the previous match immediately stopped and became excited. This is great. It is another battle of the giants. Although Wang Quan is clearly weaker than Bai Qi and the others, his opponent is Xiao Chen. The outcome of this match will be difficult to guess. That's right. Before this, Wang Quan used many moves to defeat Gong Yang Yu but was able to defeat Lin Fei with one move. That is a better showing than Xiao Chen's. Based on the strength that he has revealed, Wang Quan should be stronger than Xiao Chen. Although the remaining seven giants were ranked first together in terms of points, the crowd could roughly gauge who was stronger, based on the strength they had revealed. Naturally, Sima Lingxuan was deemed the strongest. Xuanyuan Zantian and Chu Chaoyun were considered second tier. Yu Chengxi, Li Tianhua, and Wang Quan followed after. For now, Xiao Chen was ranked last. However, this was just an estimate. Only when they fought would it be known who was stronger. On the wind cloud platform, Wang Quan held the handle of the dragon fiend whip with his right hand and the rest of it with his left. He looked at Xiao Chen across the stage, in no rush to make a move. A light flashed in the depths of Wang Quan's eyes. After a while, he said, White-robed bladesman Xiao Chen, the only cultivator to reach the eighth floor of the ancient desolate tower in the past thousand years. I have heard about you long ago. You are very strong, but your weakness will guarantee that you cannot reach the peak. Do you know what your weakness is? Although Wang Quan's voice was not loud, the cultivators in the spectator stands could hear him clearly. Naturally, they were aware of the reputation of the ancient desolate tower. As they stared at the calm Xiao Chen standing on the wind cloud platform, they all looked shocked. Unexpectedly, this white-robed bladesman, who had been silently winning all his matches, had such a glorious past, he was simply too low-key. Being able to reach the eighth floor of the ancient desolate tower, just this achievement alone meant that Xiao Chen's background was no worse than that of the scions of the eight noble clans. Xiao Chen looked at Wang Quan with interest. He said, tell me, what is my weakness? 
Long Quan replied calmly, You have a strong physical body, allowing your defense to surpass others. You have exquisite saber techniques and saber intent, allowing your martial techniques to match those of the other noble clan scions. With your state of thunder and state of massacre, you do not have to fear the states of others. What is even rarer is that you have a fearless heart. However, all these cannot cover up for your weakness, your low cultivation. When Xiao Chen heard this, he was somewhat stunned in his heart, but his expression did not change. Wang Quan was right. His cultivation was indeed too low. Out of the eight giants, aside from him, the weakest was a great perfection half-step martial monarch. The stronger ones were peak consummation half-step martial monarchs. As for Xiao Chen, he was only a small perfection half-step martial monarch. However, this should not be a big problem. The Purple Thunder Divine Incantation was a supreme cultivation technique of immortal cultivation. It was better than the heaven-ranked cultivation techniques of martial cultivation. His essence was dense and abundant, no weaker than that of any of these people. Xiao Chen would only get into trouble if these people had opened their sea of consciousness and started to refine their essence into quintessence with their mental energy. Of course, that would just be troublesome. A trace of comprehension flashed across Wang Quan's face. He continued, you have figured out the problem as well, right? That's right. As far as I know, Bai Qi already opened his sea of consciousness three months ago. He probably has refined a fifth of his essence into quintessence. Sima Lingxuan is even more powerful. He opened his sea of consciousness half a year ago. Xiao Chen maintained a calm expression. He could tell that his opponent was trying to disrupt his mental state. He interrupted him, saying, according to gossip, you should have already refined a tenth of your essence into quintessence. You can try me yourself, to see if I can rise to the peak. After Xiao Chen cut in, Wang Quan's face sank. He smiled coldly and said, the strength of quintessence is not something you can imagine. I only wanted to let you know about the difficulties and withdraw on your own volition. If you want to fight, I can grant you that fight. Wang Quan's left hand released the coiled up dragon fiend whip. Then he infused his quintessence into it. The soft whip seemed to come to life and sliced a small tear in space as it moved towards Xiao Chen. As the whip landed, the tiny spatial tear quickly mended. Clearly, while this attack could rip space, it could only barely do so. Pa! The dragon fiend whip was as fast as lightning and as agile as a rabbit. It instantly shattered the afterimage that Xiao Chen left behind when it landed on the stage. A crack immediately appeared on the wind cloud platform, allowing the boundless dragon chi to escape. Just a casual attack had such might, the crowd was flabbergasted. A strange look flashed in Xiao Chen's eyes. He performed a somersault and used the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art to quickly move around the Wind Cloud platform, avoiding the lights from the whip. There were very few whip practitioners in the Tianwu continent. This was because the whip was too difficult to use. It relied too heavily on the individual's talent. However, once someone mastered it to great perfection, they would be hard to deal with, just like Wang Quan. Wang Quan had fully brought out the unpredictable nature of the whip. Combining his attacks with quintessence, he forced Xiao Chen into a continuous retreat. Xiao Chen could not find a chance to counterattack. Indeed, essence cannot be compared to quintessence. The difference is too big. Unexpectedly, this Wang Quan has opened his sea of consciousness. Xiao Chen is doomed this time. How unfortunate that he did not have enough time to grow. The noble clan scions are all older than him by two or three years. Otherwise, he would have started refining quintessence as well. A lesser cultivation is indeed a great flaw. No matter how good his techniques are, they are useless. Seeing Xiao Chen dodging all over the wind cloud platform, the spectators' discussions were full of pity for him. They felt that it was too unfair for Xiao Chen. He he, white-robed bladesman, isn't it that you comprehend saber intent and can climb to the peak using your saber techniques? What's wrong? Do you not even dare to draw your saber now? As Wang Quan brandished the dragon fiend whip, he had a faint smile on his face. His whip thrashed around. In one moment, it was soft like a venomous snake coming out of its hole. In another, it was as hard as a cold, stone mountain. The dragon fiend whip was like an extension of his arm. Expertly switching between hard and soft, Wang Quan executed all sorts of martial techniques for the whip. The whip moved like a storm, crackling continuously as it rained lashes down on Xiao Chen. The torrent of whip lashes formed a screen of light that even a drop of water could not pass, so that Xiao Chen had to keep moving back. With the infusion of quintessence, the might of this screen of light was raised to another level. As the dragon fiend whip moved about, it tore many tiny holes in space. Seeing that Xiao Chen was not far away from the wind cloud barrier, Wang Quan smiled coldly and said, are you still not going to draw your saber? 
Netherworld demonic whip. Wang Quan's hand shook three times in the air. The long whip instantly sent out thousands of whip images and formed countless ferocious and malicious spirits, producing the image of hell. With no way to retreat further in a hell formed by the whip in front, Wang Quan was forcing Xiao Chen to clash head on. No way to retreat, no way to advance. Fighting is the only way out. Xiao Chen stopped moving and rooted himself in place, standing firmly on the wind cloud platform, he became like an ancient tree. When the strong winds blew from the front, his clothes and hair fluttered without end. However, Xiao Chen's body did not move at all. His pride did not permit him to fear this netherworld or even the quintessence in the whip. Placing his right hand on the saber's hilt, Xiao Chen drew the lunar shadow saber by two centimeters. A dazzling light flashed and a saber intent grew stronger continuously. 10%, 20%, 30%, peak small perfection, 40%. By the time the slender, black lunar shadow saber was completely drawn, Xiao Chen had raised his saber intent to 60% comprehension. He released it without controlling it. In an instant, the dazzling saber light stunned everyone, flabbergasting them again. 60% comprehension, it really is 60% comprehended saber intent. Although it has not reached the level of perfect control, it really is 60% comprehended saber intent. This completely surpasses Bai Chi's peak small perfection saber intent. He is just a step shy of reaching great perfection saber intent. At this rate, even Sima Lingxuan's sword intent would not be able to suppress it. Intense discussions erupted among the cultivators in the spectator stands. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen still had this as a trump card. The spectators were not the only ones astonished. The other giants also turned serious, especially Bai Qi. A look of shock appeared on his face. Since the beginning, he had considered himself to be the most talented bladesman of his generation in the Tianwu continent. However, just based on the saber intent Xiao Chen revealed, Bai Qi was completely inferior. That saber intent was 20% more comprehended than Bai Qi's. Clenching his right fist tightly, Bai Qi said to himself in a self-consoling manner, saber intent is nothing. I have the four-season saber technique. No bladesman is my match, and never will be. When Chu Chaoyun saw this scene, he smiled gently and said, 60% comprehended saber intent. Although it is not mature yet, it is sufficient for him to stand proud. The people of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion who were worried for Xiao Chen, as well as Xiao Bai and the others, all heaved a sigh of relief. Xu, Xu, Xu. Xiao Chen had not completely grasped the 60% comprehended saber intent. Strands of saber wind flew uncontrollably in all directions, chopping all the demons and malicious spirits formed by quintessence into nothing. The demons and malicious spirits could not even resist. The strength of the 60% comprehended saber intent far surpassed the crowd's expectations. Wang Quan had only refined 10% of his essence. That was insufficient to tip the situation back into his favor. Winds blew and clouds moved, gathering cloud and wind. With the support of the 60% comprehended saber intent, Xiao Chen executed the starting moves of the lightning tribulation saber technique. Using the momentum of the winds and clouds, he exterminated the demons and malicious spirits, breaking apart the scene of hell. Then, Xiao Chen hacked on Wang Quan's protective quintessence shield. There was a loud, clang, and the quintessence shield quaked. However, it was very resilient and did not break. Shaken and leaking blood from his lips, Wang Quan laughed loudly and said, I have a quintessence shield and cannot be defeated. Your 60% comprehended saber intent is not dense enough. It cannot break my quintessence shield. Idiot, do I need to break it? Xiao Chen said softly. The crystal whirlpool spun quickly in his body. The surging essence all gathered on his saber. Occasionally, electricity leapt about his saber. With the support of saber intent, the light from the electrical arcs were very resplendent. Bang! Xiao Chen used his essence to the fullest extent. With the support of the 60% comprehended saber intent and the peak state of thunder, one attack had Wang Quan vomiting a mouthful of blood. Then, he was sent flying. The strong quintessence shield rippled and fluctuated but it did not shatter. However, the pure force that permeated it jolted Wang Quan's internal organs. Stop. I concede defeat. Wang Quan, who had fallen to the floor, felt incomparable pain. Seeing Xiao Chen step forward to continue fighting, he quickly conceded defeat. Wang Quan had nearly used up all his quintessence. If he suffered another attack, he would not have enough quintessence to defend himself and would be torn apart. The 23-meter-long golden dragon above Wang Quan was bitten by Xiao Chen's golden dragon. It became dimmer and shrank to a little over 17 meters long. 
As for Xiao Chen's golden dragon, it became dazzling and spirited, growing to 25 meters long. Xiao Chen sheathed his saber and prepared to leave the wind cloud platform. Then, he paused for a moment and said to Wang Quan, who was lying on the stage, My cultivation may not be high but you are still unable to stop me. Even without this 60% comprehended saber intent, I can still defeat you easily. With 60% comprehended saber intent and the momentum of wind and cloud gathering, Xiao Chen managed to defeat Wang Quan, one of the giants, in one move. It did not matter that Xiao Chen's opponent had a higher cultivation and had even opened his sea of consciousness, already refining a tenth of his essence into quintessence, he was still not a match for Xiao Chen. When Xiao Chen revealed another one of his trump cards, the quintessence made from a tenth of Wang Quan's essence became insufficient. At this moment, no one thought Xiao Chen was the weakest of the eight giants anymore. He had the strength to compete against Bai Qi. The cultivators with bolder imaginations even thought that he could compete against Sima Lingxuan. However, his odds were lower. Next match, Nangong Ziyu vs. Baiming Shang. It was another battle between noble clan scions. Although these two had suffered defeat before this and could no longer compete for a top 8 position, they were still strong. They were still in line for the top 10 ranks. This match was still rather interesting. Baiming Shang used palm techniques. His lamenting palm brought out emotionlessness to its extreme. The palm technique was cold and emotionless. Every move contained great might. However, Baiming Shang was matched up with Nangong Ziyu. Her state of mountains and waters was as calm as still water or moved like the mountains and ground trembling. It did not fear the way of emotionlessness. The two were evenly matched. After 400 moves, an opening appeared in Baiming Shang's way of emotionlessness. Nangong Ziyu took advantage of this opportunity to clinch victory. With only 8 rounds remaining, the victory that Nangong Ziyu obtained brought her a step closer to the top 10. Next match. Sima Lingxuan vs. Lu Xiaoyun. A few matches later, Sima Lingxuan stepped onto the wind cloud platform again. However, his opponent was not one of the other eight giants. Instead, it was the drifting snow sword sect's disciple, Lu Xiaoyun. There were only eight giants. Naturally, out of the eight matches, there would only be seven matches against the other giants. The remaining match would be with one of the other participants. How the matches were arranged was up the referee. However, this leftover match did not put any pressure on the eight giants. Lu Xiaoyun looked at Sima Lingxuan, who exuded a strong self-confidence. Then, he sighed softly and smiled bitterly. During the previous Five Nation Youth competition, I could still last ten moves against you. Now, I'm afraid I can't even block one. Sima Lingxuan, how about we compete using the sword, only the sword and nothing else? Competing with swords was just like competing with sabers. Both parties would drew their swords at the same time. Whoever's sword could defeat the others would be the winner. Naturally, Lu Xiaoyun's sword was not as strong as Sima Lingxuan's. He proposed this because he wanted to feel Sima Lingxuan's sword intent while competing with the sword in order to improve himself. Sima Lingxuan had a proud and aloof personality, looking down on the swordsmen of the world. Lu Xiaoyun now presented his request with a very humble attitude. Fire blazed in his eyes, as he hoped that the other party would agree. Given your status and strength, you are qualified to compete with swords with me. Prepare your move, then. Sima Lingxuan accepted Lu Xiaoyun's request after thinking for a while. An excited look flashed in Lu Xiaoyun's eyes as he performed a cupped fist salute. Many thanks. After Lu Xiaoyun finished speaking, he placed his right hand on his sword hilt. Then, he started quickly gathering all his essence, state of ice, sword intent, and all his comprehension on the way of the sword. Competing with swords sounded simple, drawing the sword and tossing it out. However, this simple action contained all their understanding on sword intent, sword technique, states, the force used with attacking. As long as a mistake was made in one of them, hundreds of openings would instantly appear when the sword was drawn. The atmosphere immediately turned heavy, the air solidified, and the wind cloud platform turned silent. Both sides did not say anything as they gathered momentum. Wang, wang, wang. Suddenly, loud sword hums erupted from the silence. The sounds were drawn out and continuous, providing a very dignified ambiance. The two moved at the same time. A cold and lonely sword spun quickly in the air, causing snow to fall. A vast sword intent gave off a silver white light, making the place turn even colder. Cold, an extreme cold, an emotionless cold. This was Lu Xiaoyun's state. His sword intent served the same functions too. On the other side, Sima Lingxuan's sword glittered with golden light. Strong winds blew everywhere and clouds churned. 
The overwhelming state of kingship could be found in the winds and clouds, this was a king's sword. With the support of 60% comprehended sword intent, the state of kingship seemed very tyrannical and mighty. It had the atmosphere of several thousand swords bowing to it as the king of swords. Dang. The two swords quickly clashed. Lu Xiaoyun's sword was knocked away before breaking into two. Sima Lingxuan's sword moved with a, shu, sound. It carried a vast sword intent as it easily pierced the wind cloud platform, causing strands of dragon chi to rise up. The hazy dragon chi sent the aura of the proud and arrogant sword soaring. The brilliance of the king's sword rose into the clouds. It seemed like it would break through the wind cloud barrier in the sky. Before the king's sword, Lu Xiaoyun could not resist. The difference in sword intent was too great. The sword was a swordsman's second body. This treasured sword had accompanied Lu Xiaoyun for a long time already. It killed many of his enemies. His essence, qi, blood, spirit, and soul had been poured into it. The instant the sword broke, blood trickled out from Lu Xiaoyun's mouth. His face ashen, so pale that he looked drained of blood, becoming dispirited and fatigued. Defeated in one move, Sima Lingxuan's golden dragon devoured a significant part of Lu Xiaoyun's 20-meter-long dragon. Lu Xiaoyun's golden dragon became much dimmer. As for Sima Lingxuan's golden dragon, there did not seem to be much of a change. It was still 29 meters long. Given his current luck, unless he defeated one of the other giants, it would be very difficult for his golden dragon to grow longer. Lu Xiaoyun wiped off the blood on his lips. He was in no hurry to get off the wind cloud platform. Instead, he closed his eyes and carefully reviewed Sima Lingxuan's sword intent from the moment the two swords clashed. After a long time, Lu Xiaoyun opened his eyes. Revealing a gratified expression on his pale face, he picked up the broken halves of his sword from the wind cloud platform. When competing with swordsmen, I always use my full power, not holding anything back. Sima Lingxuan said something incomprehensible to others before leaving the wind cloud platform in a smug and conceited manner. However, Lu Xiaoyun was slightly stunned. He understood what Sima Lingxuan meant. Sima Lingxuan was advising him not to despair. However, because Sima Lingxuan was too proud and aloof, he could not console someone directly. That was why he did so in a roundabout way. The first round of the day came to an end. In the crowd's excitement, it quickly came to an end. Of the eight giants, Wang Quan and Li Tianwa had both suffered defeat, the two losing their chance to compete for the first rank. The two battles of the giants had not disappointed anyone. Xiao Chen fought against Wang Quan and Xuanyuan Zantian fought against Li Tianwa. These two people were newcomers in this five-nation youth competition and forces to be reckoned with. They had advanced at a fast pace and accumulated their results step by step. The golden dragons above their heads grew rampantly without pause. This was especially so for Xiao Chen, everyone found him unfathomable. Since the elimination rounds began, he had never been defeated. Despite how so many cultivators looked down on him, Xiao Chen kept on winning, defeating all the opponents before him. Whenever everyone thought that Xiao Chen's winning streak would come to an end, he would reveal a new trump card and overcome his opponent. Nobody knew how many trump cards Xiao Chen had. This white-robed youth who came from the Great Qin Nation challenged all sorts of people with his saber, noble clan disciples, great sect disciples, and expert veterans. Neither arrogant nor hot-tempered, never cursing or complaining. There was always a calm and tranquil expression on his face. First match, Bai Qi vs. Yu Chengxi. The 94th round of the competition began. The referee announced the next match in an unhurried manner. It's another battle of giants. I wonder, who will win this time? One has to gain complete victory before they can climb the path to the peak. Failure is not tolerated. Now that they got this far, they will be very alert and on edge. Bai Qi has the four season saber technique. I wonder if Yu Chengxi has any other trump cards. The crowd and the spectator stands were very excited as they discussed. In terms of strength revealed, Yu Chengxi was no weaker than Xiao Chen. Bai Qi, who was on the wind cloud platform, had no intention of underestimating her. This competition was like a mountain climb. The steep cliffs were filled with thistles and thorns. They had already caused many of the climbers to fall. The few of them that could now see the peak had no path of retreat. The moment they tripped, they would be flung far behind. After working hard for so long, cultivating day and night, accomplishing all they had, their dreams stood right before them. They had waited for this moment for too long. Bai Qi had too many things to prove. He could not afford to lose. He could not lose, absolutely not. Fight. 18 Heaven Breaking Saber Strikes. After the referee announced the start, the power that Bai Qi had been storing instantly erupted forth without him saying anything. 
An overwhelming fighting spirit surged out together with the 18 Heaven Breaking Saber Strike's first attack, turning into a dazzling saber light and flying at Yu Chengxi. Yu Chengxi's expression turned serious. Her pretty face was completely filled with caution. She did not intend to concede defeat to Bai Qi. After taking a deep breath, she covered her right fist with essence. A golden light exploded forth and shattered the incoming saber light into a rain of sparks. Second Heaven Breaking Saber Strike the moment the saber light shattered, a second more powerful strike descended. Third strike, fourth strike, fifth strike. Bai Qi remained rooted in place, not moving at all. Only the right hand holding the saber moved continuously. The 18 heaven breaking saber strikes rained down like a heavy storm. Strong saber intent infused every saber strike, each one stronger than the one before. Initially, Yu Chengxi was rather relaxed. However, the pressure on her gradually increased. Soon, she started moving back slowly. Without taking a single step, Bai Qi turned the essence cycling in his body into the 18 heaven breaking saber strikes, forcing Yu Chengxi to retreat more than 10 steps. 18th saber strike, Bai Qi roared ferociously. Bai Qi, who had not moved since the start of the match, finally moved. When he was not moving, he had sent saber strikes without pause, like a gale, forcing his opponent back. However, when Bai Qi moved, he was as calm as the mountains. A strong soul hidden in the blade of the saber turned into an ancient divine mountain, guarding the river every day, breaking the monotony of the starry sky. As Bai Qi moved, he moved unpredictably. A grave look appeared in Yu Chengxi's eyes. When she faced the last saber strike of the 18 heaven breaking saber strikes, she released the might of the morning sun incantation's 13th layer. The morning sun slowly rose behind her, evoking the atmosphere of the rising sun breaking through the darkness. Light rays illuminating the sky. Yu Chengxi roared ferociously. She leapt up together with the morning sun. Bathed in the golden rays of the proud sun, she looked like a fairy. Everyone held their breath, not daring to breathe out, afraid of ruining this beautiful scene. In this instant, everyone seemed to have forgotten that Yu Chengxi's powerful killing move was hidden beneath this beautiful scene. Bang! Startling explosions resounded, breaking everyone's entrancement in the beautiful scene. Surging shock waves spread throughout the wind cloud platform. Beautiful purples and brilliant reds of every kind surged forward with great momentum. Tiny cracks appeared in the wind cloud barrier, as if it was on the verge of shattering. What a strong force. It looks like Yu Chengxi had indeed used only 70% of her strength when fighting with Nangong Ziyu. I cannot see clearly. Has the victor been decided? Who is the stronger one? If Bai Qi loses here, it would be such a pity. He still has not used the four season saber technique. That should not be the case. Bai Qi will not lose so easily. Who knows? Anything is possible. Before they got on the wind cloud platform, did anyone think that Yu Chengxi could explode forth with such an intense fist win? Everyone in the spectator stand stood up and circulated essence to their eyes. They tried to find the two's figures in the multicolored shock waves. However, the shock waves were very thick and dense, far surpassing the crowd's expectations. They could not see anything at all, so they could not help but feel anxious. Long-lasting spring water, growing warm then cold. Amidst the dense shock waves, the crowd heard a familiar voice. It was Bai Qi executing the four-season saber technique. It looked like the final saber strike of the 18 heaven-breaking saber strikes was weaker than Yu Chengxi's light rays illuminating the sky. Otherwise, Bai Qi would not execute the four-season saber technique. Morning sun fist, sky-shattering punch. A similar shout came from within the shock waves. Yu Chengxi did not feel any fear when facing the torrent of hot and cold containing the power of the cycle of seasons. An intense light burst forth and a punch stronger than the light rays illuminating the sky appeared. Since Yu Chengxi had no way of figuring out whether the state was hot or cold, she would just break through with force. She, Yu Chengxi, would accomplish what Nangong Ziyu could not. Boom, 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 boom. An unending chain of explosions like mountains collapsing resounded amidst the shock waves. A strong gale came from where the two were clashing. In an instant, the gale blew away the shock waves spreading through the wind cloud platform. The scene on the wind cloud platform appeared before everyone again. The crowd saw Yu Chengxi standing on a rainbow bridge. The morning sun flickered behind her, giving off a faint glow that made the wind cloud platform look peaceful. However, the glow also gave Yu Chengxi's face a reddish cast, making her pretty face look somewhat sick. Everyone could not help but worry for her. In front of Yu Chengxi was Bai Qi. His clothes fluttered in the wind as he quickly moved back. He slowly drifted to the ground like a willow leaf. 
Bai Qi looked much better than Yu Changxi. However, he had a sullen expression on his face. He had retreated. Everyone immediately became excited. Bai Qi, who had executed the first move of the Four Season Saber technique, had been pushed back by Yu Changxi. Breaking technique with brute force. This is breaking technique with brute force. Although we called it technique, Bai Qi's attack contained the power of the cycle of seasons. That is not something that anyone can block. However, not only did Yu Chengxi push back this power of the cycle of seasons, she shattered her opponent's state of spring water. Strong. The strongest technique under heaven rank can be broken. This girl is as strong as a man. With just this move, Yu Chengxi already made me feel very embarrassed. All the cultivators in the spectator stands were very excited. Unexpectedly, the first move of the four season saber technique had been pushed back. Everyone was filled with shock, their expressions instinct with disbelief. Spring is over, replaced by summer. A fierce fire mercilessly shines everywhere as the blazing sun soars high in the sky. Although he had just landed, Bai Qi did not hesitate. He shouted a war cry and executed the four season saber technique's second move. Spring ended and summer arrived. The blazing sun of July burned mercilessly, spreading its heat throughout the season land. However, the boundless fighting spirit in Bai Qi's heart was more intense than the blazing sun of July. His heart soared higher than the sun. This was the state that the Saber Emperor Bai Shui had comprehended from summer. This state had been perfectly produced by Bai Qi. Turning the boundless mental state into a Saber technique. No matter how bright the sun shines, burning the mountains and rivers, only my Saber exists. Bai Qi's war cry was not very loud, but the instant he executed his saber technique, his aura flared infinitely, becoming very tyrannical. The crowd in the spectator stands felt uneasy in their hearts. Yu Chengxi had already won them over. So when they saw Bai Qi's horrifying second attack, they could not help but worry for Yu Chengxi. The sun rising from the east looks like fire. How can the blazing sun be defeated so easily? The passion of the heart is inextinguishable, daring to reach for the bright moon. A fiery red sun shines over the world, its light never extinguishing from the rivers. Yu Chengxi's red face flickered with a proud glow. She exuded a strong passion from her chest and a multicolored pillar of light appeared behind her. Scarlet, orange, red, green, blue, indigo, purple, the seven colors formed a mysterious rainbow-colored sunlight. Yu Chengxi turned into the blazing sun, emerging from the multicolored sunlight. A fist wind several times stronger than the one before welcomed by Qi's tyrannical attack. Bang! Upon contact, the sunlight behind Yu Chengxi shattered and turned in a five-colored light diffusing throughout the wind cloud platform. She vomited large mouthfuls of blood, making her complexion turn even redder. Only a dim morning sun remained behind Yu Chengxi, continuing to rise proudly. On the other hand, Bai Qi was in an even more miserable state than Yu Chengxi. He had been instantly knocked back a hundred meters. Without slowing down, he continued flying towards the wind cloud barrier. Yu Chengxi had repelled the four season saber technique. Good. The crowd was very excited, the several hundred thousand cultivators in the spectator stands called out together without any prior arrangement. Their roars broke through the clouds, shaking even the entire wind cloud arena. They were so excited, they could not contain it. The supreme sky sects Yu Chengxi broke another move. Who knows, she might be able to create a miracle. Using brute force to break technique, defeating the famous four season saber technique, and becoming the biggest dark horse of this competition. The wind is emotionless as summer passes. The world is very emotional, like leaves. Even to the end, they feel attached to the branch. The autumn wind rustles, sweeping the world of emotions. Just as Bai Qi almost crashed into the wind cloud barrier, he forcefully turned around. He pushed off the wind cloud barrier with his feet and executed the four season technique's third move. Heaven and earth are unfeeling, the great way is emotionless. This saber is cold and void of love. With the momentum of the autumn wind sweeping through the world, can Yu Chengxi block that? Outside the wind cloud platform, Xiao Chen's eyes flickered. Thoughts flew through his head quickly as he watched Bai Qi's four season saber technique. From the moment Bai Qi executed the long lasting spring water, Xiao Chen placed all his focus on this person. Xiao Chen's now much stronger spiritual sense penetrated the wind cloud barrier. It turned into tiny specks that hid in the air, monitoring Bai Qi's every move. Bai Shui truly lives up to his reputation as a saber emperor. It looks like when I was in the ancient desolate tower, he had held back against me, a junior. Otherwise, I definitely would not have been able to block even one move. Xiao Chen quickly analyzed Bai Qi's performance. However, when Bai Qi used it, it lacked a certain spirituality and seemed somewhat artificial. 
It is rather unfortunate. Xiao Chen was not the only person observing Bai Qi. The other giants, Xuanyuan Zantian, Chu Chaoyun, and even Sima Lingxuan, were paying close attention to Bai Qi's every move. The four season saber technique was too famous. Yu Chengxi forcing Bai Qi to this level provided a rare chance. If they did not cherish this opportunity to comprehend the technique's mysteries, it would be a great waste. It looks like I overestimated you before this. The saber technique is pretty good, but your talent is somewhat lacking. Sima Lingxuan's conclusion was similar to Xiao Chen's. As he watched Bai Qi, a calm expression flashed in his eyes. The self-confidence in his heart became even stronger. Yu Chengxi's pretty face did not look good by any means. Her bright red face seemed like it would drip blood at any moment. This was a very unnatural condition. Clearly, she already reached her limits. She probably would not be able to block the third move. The sky looked like a large walk had flipped over and covered it. Darkness encompassed the entire area, causing night to fall. Yu Chengxi had not given up yet, she wanted to persevere. So, she used the greatest state of the morning sun fist. Within the darkness, Xiao Chen frowned slightly. He muttered, this girl is pushing too hard. The pitch dark night looked boundless, completely silent and devoid of light. When one stretched their hands out, they could not see their fingers. Humans had an instinctive fear of and resistance against darkness. This was why they called out for the morning sun, hoping that the bright light would never be extinguished. Shu. In the boundless anticipation, the blazing sun broke through the night. A bright radiance shone on every corner of the wind cloud arena. With the tempering of night, this morning sun became extraordinary, its radiance everlasting and inextinguishable. A fiery red sun shone on the world, eliminating the darkness. When facing the four season saber technique's third move, Yu Chengxi still chose to break through with brute force. She was prepared to use the stronger power of the rising sun to break the emotionlessness of the autumn wind. Bai Qi turned towards her, his expression cold. There was no trace of emotion in his eyes. A heartless autumn wind blew behind him. He used this overwhelming attack to welcome Yu Chengxi's. Boom. A strong saber light flashed on stage. Following that, a dazzling light completely encased the entire wind cloud platform. The crowd could only see light and nothing else. Silent and viewless. There was no sound and nothing could be seen. Only the ethereal bright light was visible. There was a ka ka sound and a resonant dragon roar reverberated within the bright light. The boundless emotionless autumn wind blew strongly, sweeping away all the specks of light. As the autumn wind blew, Bai Qi, who was in midair, moved together with the wind, holding his saber with one hand. When the crowd looked over, they saw that Yu Chengxi lay on the ground, looking very pale and weak. The morning sun behind Yu Chengxi was already dim, so void of light that only a pale glow remained. It was like a lamp that had burned up all its oil and would be blown out by the wind at any moment. A long crack on the stage split the wind cloud platform in half. As lightning flashed, the wind cloud platform slowly healed. Bai Qi sheathed his saber. The autumn wind drifted above the stage, circling as it poured into the scabbard. When Bai Qi alighted on the stage, there was a trace of blood in the corner of his lips. However, his physical state was much better than Yu Chengxi's. It was clear who was stronger with one glance. Bai Qi's golden dragon roared ferociously and took a bite out of Yu Chengxi's 23-meter-long golden dragon. After that, it grew to 28 meters long, catching up with Sima Lingxuan's. Yu Chengxi, who was on the ground, tried to stand up despite her weakness. Bai Qi knew her condition, so he sent out a cool breeze with a wave of his hand and helped her up. Yu Chengxi said softly, many thanks. Bai Qi gave Yu Chengxi a deep look. This girl had endured three moves from him. Respect flashed in his eyes as he performed a cupped fist salute. I have to thank you as well. You allowed me to discover some of the insufficiencies of my four-season saber technique. I hope that we still have more chances to exchange moves with each other in the future. I will be glad to. With the verbal exchange of these two, the tense atmosphere of the earth-shattering intense battle from earlier vanished like the wind. This was how this generation of cultivators was. Winning straightforwardly and in an upright manner, accepting loss wholeheartedly, meeting victory or defeat with equanimity, letting go of everything in their hearts. The Supreme Sky Sect elders watching the match also smiled and nodded their heads. Yu Chengxi had lost only one match. Given her strength, she would definitely be able to make it into the top five. This was considered the Supreme Sky Sect's best result in history. The two walked off the wind cloud platform. The various experts of their respective backers quickly received them. These experts used their deep cultivation and miraculous medicines to treat the two's injuries. Both soon recovered their combat prowess.
In this round, Xiao Chen's opponent was Dongfang Yubai, a disciple of the one of the Great Jin Nation's Ten Great Sects. The two had never interacted with each other before. Facing the highly popular and unfathomable Xiao Chen, Dongfang Yubai still maintained a hopeful heart. He still had some hidden trump cards, so he did not choose to concede defeat. Xiao Chen was not in a rush, either. Hence, he did not mind exchanging a few moves with this person. Only when this opponent exhausted all his trump cards and had no other martial techniques that incited Xiao Chen's interest did Xiao Chen lose patience. Then, he used his 60% comprehended saber intent and attacked with the lightning tribulation saber technique. He defeated Dongfang Yubai in three moves, using absolute power to make him give up hope. After defeating Dongfang Yubai, Xiao Chen's golden dragon grew larger, becoming 26 meters long. He was now only 1 meter short of reaching 27 meters. However, there was still some distance to reaching Bai Qi's golden dragon's length. This was the result of not having enough resources. After all, Xiao Chen had never participated in the previous Five Nation Youth competition, never gotten the chance to gain more luck. However, Xiao Chen did not overthink this. As long as he reached the peak, his luck would naturally be more than anyone else's. Next match, Sima Lingxuan vs Wang Quan. After 20 moves, Wang Quan, who used his cloning technique to save himself, could not endure any longer. Sima Lingxuan did not even have to use his quintessence. Sima Lingxuan only used the state of kingship and the emperor's swordplay combined with his 60% comprehended sword intent. Wang Quan was unable to retaliate. After losing to Xiao Chen, then Sima Lingxuan, Wang Quan could no longer compete for the top three ranks. Just as the 94th round came to an end, another battle of giants appeared. It was Xuanyuan Zantian versus Chu Chaoyun. In the elimination round, they had chosen to tacitly declare a draw to preserve their strength. That match had ended in a draw after one move. Draws were not permitted in the ranking matches, there had to be a victor. Furthermore, neither of the two had suffered a loss yet. Now, at this crucial moment, they could not afford to lose. If they lost here, they would lose the chance to climb to the peak. They had to put in their full effort. Xuanyuan Zantian has comprehended a higher level state of kingship. Chu Chaoyun probably still has trump cards that he has not revealed yet. These two are about as strong as each other. Their match will definitely be more intense than Sima Lingxuan and Wang Quan's match. They have almost equal odds of victory, but I favor Xuanyuan Zantian more. After all, he was previously the only participant to dare to oppose Sima Lingxuan so far. The amount of attention this match received was clearly more than what Sima Lingxuan and Wang Quan's match received. Xiao Chen could clearly make this out from the discussions. Xiao Chen was also very interested in this match. He always had a certain fear of Chu Chaoyun, feeling that he was unfathomable. From the very start, Chu Chaoyun had not revealed many trump cards. Now that he is facing Xuanyuan Zantian, Xiao Chen could use this chance to see how strong Chu Chaoyun's true power was. Xuanyuan Zantian was extremely cautious as he faced Chu Chaoyun. He brandished his heavenly war halberd and a vast sea appeared behind him, spreading in all directions. Xuanyuan Zantian immediately raised his vast state of water to the peak. Waves surged, rising and falling. He stood on that vast sea, holding the heavenly war halberd and looking in all directions proudly. Rise! Xuanyuan Zantian shouted and a huge wave surged out of the sea. The wave carried him higher as he held the halberd with two hands and hacked down. Boom! A pillar of light descended from the sky, encasing Chu Chaoyun. Within the golden light, he exuded a holy aura. His clothes and hair all gave off a faint golden glow. Shu! A melodious hum rang out. Chu Chaoyun drew his sword and a sword intent surged out. When he swung the sword, it gave off a bright light. When the halberd approached, the golden sword easily blocked Xuanyuan Zantian's mighty attack. Berserk Dragon Burst! Since this move failed, Xuanyuan Zantian quickly changed moves. The water under his feet started churning, forming a huge whirlpool. Then, it turned into a flood dragon in the form of a waterspout. Waves surged and a strong wind blew. The strong state of water spread throughout the entire wind cloud platform, making one feel as if they were engulfed by a vast sea, very minuscule and insignificant. Chu Chaoyun smiled gently as he watched the incoming berserk dragon burst. He did not advance further, choosing to retreat, instead. His deep eyes flickered with a brilliant light. As he looked at the waterspout, it seemed like everything was just an illusion to him. Heaven Destroying Sword The light of Chu Chaoyun's sword gathered and condensed into a thread, turning into a dense sword light as it fired out. With the support of sword intent, the golden light tore fine cracks in space. Roar 
A muffled roar came from the waterspout. Xuanyuan Zantian, who was hidden within, swung his halberd. He quickly retreated when the berserk waterspout was just a few centimeters away from Chu Chaoyun. The waterspout burst, turning into drops of water falling from the sky. When the drops of water landed on the wind cloud platform, they exploded. The energy contained within the water droplets created a horrifying shock wave and boundless strong winds. Just one water droplet contained so much power, surprising everyone. As the golden light moved around, the stronger water droplets turned into hazy steam before they reached Chu Chaoyun. Focusing his gaze, Chu Chaoyun took advantage of this opportunity to grab the initiative to make a sharp counterattack. Dang, 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 dang. The sea surged, waves roared, and light filled the land. Amidst the horrifying waves, the two exchanged moves. In an instant, they each executed at least a hundred moves. Chu Chaoyun was the kind of person where once he grabbed hold of an opportunity, he would be very difficult to deal with. The longer things dragged out, the boundlessly larger his initially tiny window of opportunity would grow. In this competition, many of his opponents had been forced into dead ends this way. Before they could even use their best moves, they had been defeated. Using the opening from Xuanyuan Zantian's execution of the Berserk Dragon Burst, Chu Chaoyun counterattacked and kept the upper hand since then. The chain of endless attacks accompanied by flickering golden light never stopped. I can't let this go on. An awareness of the situation appeared in Xuanyuan Zantian's heart. He knew he should take action now, while the situation could still be salvaged. If they continued like this, Chu Chaoyun would fully control the rhythm of the battle. By then, even if Xuanyuan Zantian did not want to, he would still lose. Perhaps he might end up like the others, not even having the chance to use his best move. I am the proud son of heaven, king of the four seas. Might of the king, sweep through everything before me. Xuanyuan Zantian roared out in his heart. Finally, he unleashed his state of kingship. In that instant, 81 pillars of water erupted from the vast sea behind him, soaring to the sky. The entire sea surged as the overwhelming state of kingship poured out. Xuanyuan Zantian's aura suddenly changed and his heavenly war halberd roared like an ferocious flood dragon as it swept across. An astonished expression flashed in Chu Chaoyun's eyes. Then, he instantly sent out a golden screen of swords before retreating. Boom, boom, boom. Rage of the king, splattering the mountains and rivers with blood. The screen of swords that Chu Chaoyun sent out at the last minute was futile. The heavenly war halberd tore through the barrier effortlessly and struck the sword that Chu Chaoyun held over his chest. Chu Chaoyun's chi and blood were shaken as he was knocked back. When he landed, he left deep footprints on the stage. I did not expect his state of kingship to have already reached such a level. He did not need any time to switch over to it. After circulating his energy for a bit to help with his injuries, Chu Chaoyun muttered to himself, I misjudged him. Hence, the expected ending is gone. After unleashing the state of kingship, Xuanyuan Zantian's strength increased greatly. His aura reached a level where others felt suppressed. Then, he looked coldly at Chu Chaoyun. Xuanyuan Zantian shouted ferociously, Receive my attack point at heaven, stamping on earth. The sea surged and Xuanyuan Zantian pointed his halberd at the sky. A berserk energy surged forth and a formless energy wave launched out of the halberd's tip. A small hole appeared in the wind cloud barrier. The wind cloud barrier that an inferior grade martial monarch could not break was broken by Xuanyuan Zantian's point at heaven, stamping on earth. Several martial monarch experts of the city lord's residence changed their expressions.